Hello, everybody. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill. Over there, we got Christopher Graves. What's going on? Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. They will outfit you with all your hockey needs, fit player gear. You have got you covered skating, goals, uh, wingers, defensemen. They got you covered goalies. They got you covered referees in hockey. They kind of got you covered, but no icing chart test to check that one. But yeah. Other than that, figure skaters got you covered. Uh, roller hockey, they got you covered. So fans, they got you covered too. You can pick up Predator gear. Admiral's gear, pick up both. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, you can't get this. You have to go on Florida's website. Um, also, in our show yesterday, we asked for prayers for Tiger Woods. Uh, came out that he will be okay and will be getting, hopefully, on the recovery soon. Um, we just thought we'd give a slight update on that as well. Yeah. He's not a hockey player, obviously, but it's still shocking to wake up yesterday and hear that. Also, um, hockey and golf go hockey, golf, baseball, and racing all kind of go hand in hand. Me and Chris learned wow. that in a weird way from all the times we've gone to these places and have been noticed. Mm-hmm. But we've never gone to a golf course. I well, want to because I want to hockey re- players play golf. Yeah, but I do want to go to a golf course and reenact Happy Gilmore. Speaking of which, they're working on Happy Gilmore too. Yeah, I found that out, and immediately I had to tell people. All right. Also, uh, for those of you that are Mighty Ducks fans, uh, the movie, uh, the series comes out March 26th on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I'm going to check that out just to see uh, how good it is. All right. So today, the Florida Everblades took on the South Carolina Stingrays. The South Carolina Hell of a game. Hell of a game. South Carolina Stingrays going into tonight. We're on an eight-game slide. The Florida Everblades going into tonight. We're on a seven-game win streak. Let's see what happens. All righty. Stats. Uh Hold on. Hold on. While we're waiting for him, the Florida Everblades currently sit second in uh, the standing. I'm having volume issues. It's a tech problem. Sorry. It's all right. I got you covered. You're like uber loud for no reason at all. All righty. So uh, the Florida Everblades going into tonight were 19, uh, 5, and 1. Uh, the uh, uh, Jacks, or sorry, Jacksonville, <laughs> uh, South Carolina Stingrays uh, were 9, 8, 6, and 0. Oh. Yeah, uh, the Everblades are 5-1 and one against South Carolina this year. Uh, they had seven more games remaining with South Carolina this season. Uh, they are 2-0 and oh in overtime, 1-1 one one in shootouts, and yeah. All righty. Stats. Stats. We get a, a South Carolina outshot Florida 10-9 in the first. They, uh, the shots were even at 13 apiece in the second. Uh, then Florida, well, actually South Carolina outshot Florida 9-8 in the third. Overtime, Everblades outshot Florida 4-3. So South Carolina outshot them 35-34, but uh, eh, it was still a hell of a game. And Arvin Atwell, I have a feeling, might get suspended again because he just can't stop fighting. All righty. So uh, scoring in the first is uh, Leif Coper with an assist from Hugo Waugh at the 11-20 mark uh, that was scored equal strength. Um, that was a beautiful play set up um, from that point. Uh, then scoring in the second was Tim Harrison with an assist by Blake Hillman at the 634 mark. Uh, that was also at equal strength. Uh, then at the 1425 mark, one of the best stick handling plays. Sports Center, we're calling. Yeah, um, that should be a top 10 play for Sports Center. Um, if Sports Center loved hockey. Um, anyway, uh, Joe Pendenza scored with an assist by Stefan LeBlanc, shorthanded. Um, 
that was a very beautiful play, just as beautiful as this one, because I didn't think he could do it like that. But <laughs> uh, at the 1915 mark, sh scoring shorthanded was Arvin Atwal with an assist by John McCarron. Pretty much the same move. Yeah. Um, it looked pretty uh, physical, but these two are bit of rivals, so we'll see what happens. Actually, uh, I, I don't think they're bitter rivals. They're just sick of playing each other. That's what I think it is. All right. So scoring and they third at the 546 mark. Uh, scoring equal strengths was Dylan Steeman uh, with an assist by Con Connor Moore and Blake Hillman. Uh, then scoring shorthanded at the 952 mark was Dan DeSalvo. Overtime, no scoring. They went to a shootout. One of the things at the end of the third period, um, Cody Soul got called for a roughing. It did not sound like he was the initiate, the guy initiating the rough, that scrum. No, but, I don't think he started it, but he sure as hell wanted to finish it. All right. So then at the uh, 153 mark of overtime as well, uh, we had a slashing that knocked uh, seven seconds off of Cody Soul's penalty. Um, right at that time as well, Arvin Atwal and Cole Frazier got a game miss or got a 10 minute misconduct. Apparently, and basically ejected out of the game. They were jawing with each other from what I, um, I, I listened. Chris watched uh, Flow Hockey. You need to fix your problem. Dude, the dude from South Carolina dropped the gloves and like the referees basically had to break him and Atwal up because it looked like they were about to throw down right there. So that's why I'm saying I think Atwal might end up with another suspension. He just came back from a three-game suspension, and now he might be on his way on the suspension list. <laughs> um, and also they had to kill off the remaining one minute, 40 seconds of – Overtime off of a Logan Rowe two minute holding minor in the yeah. shootout. Shooting first was Brad McClure. Um, goal. Uh, shooting for South Carolina was Andrew <coughs> Chernach. Oh, God, I'm not gonna try. C H E R N I W C H A. Uh, yeah, I can't pronounce that either, but no goal. Yeah, no goal. Max, uh, then up next was Michael Hudsonbreaker. Uh, he kind of just lost the puck on his shot. Yeah, um, it, it didn't look pretty. It looked ugly. It really did. It did not look as ugly as Max Novak, who shot for South Carolina next, who just missed. Yeah, completely. I laughed at that one. <laughs> By the way, I was more laughing at the noise that they played in their arena. They played the Nelson Muntz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got a chuckle out of it. Um, and then up next was Alex Kyle with the uh, goal. Game winner. Game winner. Florida Everblades pick up the W. That is their eighth in a row. And their tenth game earning a point in the standings. Um, over the last ten, the Florida Everblades are 9 0 oh, oh, and one yeah, that's why I said they're one and one in a shootout. They lost the shootout earlier this year to Orlando, and obviously to get the victory tonight. All right. Uh, in net for Florida was Jake Hildebrand with stopping 32 and 35. He's a great goalie. Uh, and uh, bon Bonar uh, for uh, South Carolina, stopping 31 and 34. Um, your three stars of the game, uh, third star was Blake Hillman, second star of the game was Arvin Atwal, first star of the game was Alex Kyle. Your referees were Alex Norm, Norm, ha, Norm Madden, uh, linesman was Brady Fagan and Killian McNamara, same as basically the last four games. Yeah. Outside of the referee. Uh, attendance at Hertz Arena was 2,489. Wow, that's a pretty good crowd for Wednesday night. Um, the next Everblades uh, Friday, South Carolina is Friday versus South Carolina. We will see if there's any more between Arvin Etwal and Frazier. 
And trust me, there probably will be because uh, Atwal likes to fight. Also, Saturday, programming note. We will be doing an In the System live here on Facebook and YouTube, and it is overgoing a name change. We will announce that on our... When we come up with one. So, uh, (laughs) yeah. It's Uh, true. We haven't come up with one yet, but we will. Yep. Uh, we are we are working hard at that, uh, but we are very happy to be here and covering um, I'm a also winning glad, team. Uh, we're also glad that uh, I'm glad that Chris is feeling better. He woke up kind of not feeling 100 percent this morning. Yeah, I had an unusual headache today. Don't know why, but it wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> and it wasn't me. I wasn't drinking. So I have no clue why I had a headache. But this has been From Milwaukee to Nashville, sponsored by Hockey Locker. Uh, We cover everything Admirals, Predators, and Florida Everblades related. We will see you guys tomorrow with the Nashville Predators. And And Detroit Red Wings, round two. And the Detroit Lions. (laughs) (laughs) See y'all later. Yep, peace.